All right, now to major concerns in restaurants, dining rooms in Georgia. While well, they've been open, at least allowed to be open for more than a week now, and many of you are telling us and showing us some of them are not following state guidelines to keep customers safe. Nick Sturdivant is live in Atlanta, and Nick, one viewer told us that at one restaurant, not one of the employees was wearing a mask. Yeah, that's right, Sheba. Good morning. She says she went to go pick up her food at a restaurant in Buckhead and was appalled when she saw employees not following the proper guidelines set in place by the governor. Again, other viewers have sent us uh, pictures from other restaurants showing people seated at tables right next to each other and a group of people gathered on a patio. The governor's office says law enforcement has the authority to issue warnings. After repeated warnings, a business can be shut down. Now take a look at your screen. On your screen are just some of the state's requirements for restaurants to reopen. No more than 10 customers per 500 square feet of public space. All employees must wear face coverings at all times and at least six feet of separation from seating to seating and no more than six people at a table. It's really hard when you see, you know, restaurants that are supposed to be sort of essentially um, setting a precedent for other, you know, businesses and they're not even following the guidelines. And you can make a complaint to either the county or law enforcement. So far, the Department of Public Safety says it has responded to more than 1,600 locations, including restaurants, since the beginning of April. That's a lot. All right, Nick, thank you. And Liza Lucas continues our coverage from her home in Fulton County. Liza, many people reacting about this one on social media. What are they saying? Well, we've had a whole conversation both on our 11 Alive Facebook page and on our Morning Rush Insider page. Gary actually said that most fast food places that he has seen are still wearing masks and drive through. He hasn't seen too many people in the restaurants that he's passed by and those he's seen have been practicing social distancing. But we really opened this up, this social conversation up based on the question, have you noticed crowded restaurants or employees not wearing masks? And some more of those comments, in addition to Gary's, Robin actually picked up just curbside to go at two different places and the experience deterred her because she said neither server had a mask and she, you can see she said probably won't be going back for a while now denise brought up this point does it matter if the employees are wearing masks and gloves if the customers are not so you can see that two-way street suggestion right there kelly however giving a props to restaurants saying that they are doing the best that they can and she says people can still choose to get takeout or eat at restaurants or choose to stay home and that is part of the conversation as well joanne is one of those that's still staying home. I've seen other comments on our insider page as well this morning. Keith also passing for now until we know more, until more of this reopening evolves. Let us know. And if you have questions too, you can tweet us. Use hashtag MorningRushATL. We'll follow up.